Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to day eight of the 12 days of Christmas. Today, we have a highly anticipated hauler for me to review. You guys have been asking me to review Bobby Swift's hauler for about eight months. Ever since May, when he was initially released, you guys really wanted me to review him, and I thought it would be good to save for the 12 days of Christmas. Once I hit a point, like over the summer, where it was like, yeah, I probably shouldn't review this now because it's not really new, it's not really old, it's kind of in that in-between state, so I thought it would be a good thing for the 12 days of Christmas. And this was suggested to me by a lot of people, but the randomizer chose Jacob School. Thank you very much for the request and also thank you very much for commenting on pretty much all of my videos and leaving very kind words. I do appreciate that a lot. So I wanted to take the time to say that. And I also want to give a huge shout out to Disney Cars Diecast Club on Facebook. It's a community group where you can share your finds whatever about cars and planes basically and I just really appreciate what they're doing over there because they always share my videos I just want to return the favor and suggest going over there because it's definitely my favorite Facebook group and it's just like my Google Plus community if you're on there it's like the same thing because you can you know talk about cars with like-minded people and now let's get on with the review here of Bobby Swift's hauler so if you guys don't know I'm just going to get this right out of the way off the bat here there are two variations of him you have this lavender version and then you have this darker purple version so you can see the drastic color change there they were released at the same time you could probably find them at the same store which is ridiculous and really neither one or the other is more rare but I do feel like this one's more popular because people tend to like the colorful purple color, whatever, I'm being redundant, but the purple color more than the lavender. But I personally prefer the lavender because it's more accurate to Bobby Swift's color himself. And so that's why I will be opening up this one and keeping the dark purple one in the package. So let's just get on with the package here. You can see Bobby Swift's holler written right there, 3 plus Mattel. Then you could see a little bit of the inside there. Vehicle not included. Open and load race car on both sides. Cars three over here. On the back, you have a bigger image of the insides. You can see tool chest there. Flip down ramp. Air compressor. Slide out work area. Hauler opens on two sides. Low race car inside. That's what it said on the other side. Then you have clocked them all. The Wally Hauler, which is the Walmart Hauler, essentially, that didn't appear in any Cars movies, and the Cal Weathers Hauler. The Mac Hauler is also available, but they didn't put that one on the back here. These haulers were all available on May 1st, like the debut of all the Cars 3 merchandise at Walmart, because the hauler line in general is exclusive to Walmart stores. They're only able to be found there. And actually for 2018, they have a new one out called Steve Karski, which is Brick Yardley's hauler basically. Unfortunately though, only been found in Canada so far, but hopefully he should be found here in the US soon. So I'll be right back with Bobby Swift's hauler all opened up. So now this guy didn't actually speak in the movie, he actually had a very, very small appearance. I think it was pretty much just the back of him, like this, you saw maybe the side. And I'll put whatever pictures I can find of him on the screen there, but yeah, background character at the most really. But of course Mattel knows that we really, really like our haulers, so they're going to release them. I mean, I'm very happy that they did release new haulers because they were supposed to release a lot more back in 2010 of the Piston Car Racers, but they canceled them all, like a Vitaline hauler for the Cars 1 Vitaline Racer. So it's nice now that we have one for the Cars 3 Vitaline Racer, I guess. But anyway, as for his release, only as a hauler exclusive to Walmart. So he may be re-released in 2018, maybe 2019, but it's not like it really matters because so many were produced that he's not really that hard to find, especially if you live in the US 
or Canada or Mexico where Walmarts are readily available. However, if you don't, still eBay and Amazon prices aren't that bad. We're gonna start here with the semi cab after I can separate it from the hauler. This is always a pain in the butt to do the first time. It really is a pain in the butt, but let's see if I can get it out. Come on, come on. Am I really going to have to cut for this? Hold on guys. That was one of the most difficult things I've ever done in my life. That took me like a solid two minutes. And you know, you wanna be careful because you don't want to screw up the stickers on the haul. You don't wanna break it but also you have to apply enough force to actually separate the two. I've never had a hauler that tight. I mean, I've had some tight haulers, but that was the worst. So Mattel, you gotta loosen it up a little bit in there because that was ridiculous. But anyway, looking at the hauler here, he has a nice smile there. I really do like that. He has a happy expression. He does have a mouth plate like most haulers do and the lavender color is slightly different than the one of the main body, but it's still not that bad. On the sides here, you have some octane gain decals. I do like these orange stripes. They look very nice and resemble Bobby's orange stripes, although his are more of a yellowish color, so that's kind of a discrepancy there. That's a little unfortunate, but still okay. It says octane gain turbo vitamins, because obviously octane gain, the company makes turbo vitamin so basically pills that make you be faster on the back here you have the nice silver smokestacks and the mud flaps that say octane game and his license plate is very cool because it's abbreviated for octane so octn dash 19 which is bobby swift's number so that's really cool there and here is the base if you're interested held together by rivets and by one screw there in the back Moving on now to the trailer portion. I love the decals. Again, Octane Gain Turbo Vitamins 19. Same font used on Bobby himself and like the spike patterns as I like to call them. The only difference, like I said, is the color. It's a little bit more orange on the trailer here. Then you have a dark purple in the background. Of course, the silver down here, that's a window, although it doesn't look like one it's supposed to be. On the top, similar decal with the orange again. You have his satellite dish up here so Bobby can watch TV while they're going to their next race. On the back here, same type of logos. You have the three taillights on either side there. And of course, the same license plate as in or on the semi-cab, Octane 19. And then you have the same exact decals here on this side as on the other one. So let's open it up here and see how it operates. Now, the platform does not come out this way. It's always on the left side that the platform can't move out. So I only like to have like one side open because then like the doors don't kind of hit each other up there. So that's what I'm gonna do. But just know that you can have both open at the same time. So then you can pull this out and you can look at the details on the inside here, like the nice toolbox there. Although it doesn't really do anything. It's just there for show. You got a wrench in there, some crowbars. You have his nice tires, even though I don't know why they made them lavender, because he should have gray rims with an orange trim, so that kind of stinks, but oh well. Then you have the air compressor in there. Here's your flip down ramp. And you also have supports underneath that you can flip out as well, which are really nice, although I don't use them much. They're just kind of nice for display purposes, so we'll do that. They're a little tight in there as well. Ugh, let's get them out. There we go. It's just a little tedious sometimes because, ah, see, it's hard to get that one because your finger hits that so it doesn't get much like leverage on it. I'm going to use my pointer, my T here. There you go. All flipped down. There we go. And so Bobby, it's a little unlevel, but you guys get the idea. So Bobby can drive on up there, kind of. He hits the ribs there. And there you go. Unfortunately though, you can't actually shove it in there like that because the ramp would still be on the outside. So what you really gotta do is flip this in, make sure it clicks down to the base, flip these back in, then you can put Bobby in and then close it. Oh, whoa, 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 that was not supposed to happen. Then you put Bobby in like that. And it looks really cool, you can close it up. And I'm not going to connect them again. Never again am I connecting them. But you can kind of imagine driving around. And then you can 
take Bobby back on out. And it's actually nice to have some of these haulers because you can store your duplicates in them without taking up any more space. And that's what I do a lot. I put my duplicates in like big play sets. Like, do you guys know the Disney store? Um, what's it called? The combat ship that the lemons have from the beginning of Cars 2. There's like a whole storage area for cars in there. So I just fill it all up and it's like a part of my display. So it's kind of a nice dual purpose thing. But anyway, now it's time to compare Bobby Swift's hauler to Billy Oil Changer's hauler, who was the Octane Game Racer from Cars 1. And by the way, if you'd like to see my review of both Bobby Swift and Team Octane Game from Cars 1, the links are in the description below. Sorry for the pause, I had to do a silent cough. That's what I always have to do. But yeah, I have reviewed all this before, so you guys can check that out if you'd like. I feel like these go really well together. It's a nice contrast with the orange and the purple because obviously before in Cars 1, there was no purple in his design. It was only orange, a little bit of yellow and black. So they do look really nice together. Their semi cabs are pretty similar actually in expression. A little bit more smiley on the new one here. You can see that the decals are a little bit more elaborate with like the whole pattern there and the logos before you just have the number on the sides and then the Octane Game logo on the cap. Moving towards the back here, I feel like the Cars 1 haulers always have racing written on the haulers. They don't really do that anymore, but it's something that they used to have. Whereas now it's just kind of simply the main logo. And then here are the roofs. Octane Game Turbo Vitamins. So a lot more orange and yellow from Cars 1 because that was the branding. But now after 10 years, they've evolved it and made it fit the times a little bit more, which is always very, very cool. And they both still have their satellite dishes though because it's always necessary to watch TV. Although I don't know why Bobby would need that dish because he probably could just watch Netflix or something via his phone. I don't know if he'd really need the dish anymore. I'm actually going to put these together because I don't think I'll need to separate them anymore. And plus the second time is always a little bit looser than the first. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review of Bobby Swift's hauler and comparison to the Cars 1 Octane Gain hauler. Let me know in the comment section below which OG hauler here is your favorite. You got 58 as well. That was his number before then 19, and I think my favorite is Bobby's, but they're still both really awesome. And both aren't that hard to get because Octane Gains Hauler was released or re-released about a year ago after being only released in like 2009 before. So we're going to assemble the whole Octane Gain team here now that we have everyone, literally everyone, except for maybe some pities and crew chiefs from Cars 3, but you have Daniel Suarez here. We'll throw him in there. Of course, Bobby Swift himself. Billy Oil Changer. We'll put him over there. Of course, we have some pities. This is Dudley Spare. He has some tires. We have this guy over here who just dropped his Christmas wreath. Come on. Put it back on. There you go. I know you're embarrassed about it, but you're going to wear it for the video. Then we have this guy who's got the tool gun. Of course, we got the Cars 1 Crew Chief and a nice little toolbox. And Daniel can wear that on his head. So thank you guys very much for watching again. Hope you enjoyed it. Again, Jacob Schooley. I hope the video lived up to what you would hope it to be if you knew you were going to get this for your review. And I hope everyone's been just enjoying the 12 Days of Christmas series. It's been a little hard for me to record because it's my finals week. So I'm studying and I'm recording at the same time pretty much like you know, as I'm talking to you guys, I'm like studying my physics. Actually, no, I'm not doing that. But you guys get the idea. And anyway, it should be fine. I don't think I'll miss a day. And if I do, I'd feel really, really terrible about myself anyway. So I don't want to feel terrible about myself. So I'll just stay up late. But I'll see you guys tomorrow for day nine. Can't believe it's already day nine. See you guys tomorrow. Bye now.